today's a Saturday, so I've got a full day planned. Right now I'm going with my mum to the shops to get some fabric. And then we're going to go on a hunt for pupusas. Because I just saw somebody post something yesterday that they were going to do pupusas in Brisbane and tacos. So we're going to go look for that. And then, oh, and then I'm going to go with my sister and we're going to go look for the best lamingtons in Brisbane. So. Hey, pero siempre terminamos diciendo, ah, yo les hago más ricas. My mom does do it. <laughs> No, I think I'm going to get tacos, but I also want to try them just so that I can let you guys know if they are worth getting in the future because they do sell them throughout the week as well. So I haven't tasted them in a couple of years from these people, so I'll let you know how they go. I couldn't find what I wanted, so we're going to go now. So I just changed cars and got my sister and now we're going to go to the pupusas and my cousins are going to meet us there as well. What a beautiful day. So it's, a bit, it's an event. I'm not sure what it is, but I just saw a coffee cart there and he's not set up yet, but I'm going to go stalk him. And the pupusas are over there. He's going to go find our cousin first. I like it's so close to my face. Party in the park. Is that? <laughs> Oh, there they are. There. There? Oh, yeah. Is there baby walking? He's walking, look at him. There they are. Behind the red man. Look at him walking. He's so big. Look who we're going. Got cheese, beef and onion and I got no coriander. This is how much I would put on one. Australian? Yeah. Okay. We found the pupusas. They're really good. They have frijoles, cheese, and I'm pretty sure it has chicharron as well in there. And they're pretty massive, look. It was like this big. And these are seven dollars. Now I don't want to hear anyone complaining about the prices because one capsicum here costs like ten dollars. So how do you guys rate the pupusas? Ah, so, Steph, that's my cousin, so she's Salvadorian. Um eight, eight and a half. What about you, Khan? Seven. Seven? Oh. Who are you comparing it to? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> but yeah, they were really good. So I would recommend having them here. They are usually around in, um, I think, Logan area, but they're up in Acacia Ridge today. And you just have to follow their Facebook and their Instagram, and they'll just tell you when they're popping up. So it was actually an event for Reconciliation Week. We give thanks and pay respect to this land on which we, which we all gather, the Yagara and Turrbal people. This week was Reconciliation Week, and maybe in time to come, we can all reconcile. Thank you. So now we're going to go and look for some lamingtons because we want to find the best lamingtons around the south of Brisbane. So we are in Corinda at the moment and we're gonna go look at Miette's. It's a French patisserie. So hopefully they sell lamingtons. Lamingtons are an Australian dessert. I just want you 
didn't have any, but like the shelves look like empty because it's after 12 on a Saturday. So it's like 12.30 and I'm finally getting a coffee. And my coffee is a flat white on lactose free milk, in case anyone ever wonders. It's good. At Vinny's, just like a Goodwill sort of second hand place. <laughs> this Australian fashion here. Oh, it's a Sunday. And only Sunday because of its embroidery. Too small. Where's the handmade knitwear? It's a bit groovy. Like something you already have. All right, we found another bakery in the same suburb. We're gonna go look for these lamingtons. I hope they don't have a minimum. <laughs> Here's some. Lamingtons. How are you today? Oh, hello. Um, do you have a Minimum for your car. Can I dollars? Can I please get two lamingtons? We got our first lamingtons. And my sister is like over the moon because somebody on Twitter caught her an icon. Because <laughs> she shared selfies. Alright, we're going to Brumbies. Brumbies is like... I don't know, everyone, everyone loves Brumbies. So, let's have a look. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I don't see them. What was that all of them? girls refused to look at me and my sister who was standing there looking at them and then they served the white lady so we're out of there and we're gonna go to Woolies instead um this is our last stop we're gonna stop now because Jazz has to go and study but we are going to Fairfield Gardens and there's a really nice bakery in here so we'll try that one and hopefully we won't experience them again <laughs> nah these people are really nice Those are 3.50 each, the others went 2.50. These ones look so good, brownie. They have the best cakes. Ended up making another stop at our local and I found a lamington here as well. And look, they're all sold out as well. I got another lamington. This one was from my local, so I'm not going to be sharing what they called or anything. So if it is the best, then sorry, you don't get to try it. Okay, so we have lamingtons. So lamingtons are an Australian dessert. Okay, so now we have our lamingtons. This one was from the Fairf Fairfield? Fairfield Gardens. Mm, this Fairfield. one was from the Carindia, like just a local little bakery. And then this one was from our local. And this one is super heavy. Yeah. So that's expected from Fairfield. There's such a good bakery. I'll show you what they are, look like. So this is from our local bakery. Mm. So it's a sponge um, covered with chocolate and then covered with coconut. So which you usually hate coconut. Hey, I don't hate coconut. There's a sponge. There's a sponge there. So sometimes they have like a layer of um, jam or a layer of cream or both. That one's the best. Mm. 
It's moist. The sponge is really moist. That's good. Mm. Cause I don't like when they're dry or airy, too, like too airy. Yeah. That chocolate is good too. It's good chocolate. It's not dry. I think that's why it's so moist. Mm. Mm -hmm. You eat your whole piece. Yep. <laughs> what do you rate that one? I'm gonna say like maybe eight or nine out of ten. I think it's eight out of ten. This is from the other little bakery. And this one, so I think this was two dollars fifty. This is the cheapest one. That one looks. The other one I think was about three dollars or three dollars fifty. The sponge is a different color. This one's very yellow. Mm. Look at that. This one feels dry though. Did you ever try it? Like, did you have to make the sponge when you did home ec, or did I do that in hospitality? No, we made a roll jam thingy. Mm. Oh, that's fun. That's good. This one's good too. Mmm. That's quite sweet. I like the sponge. The sponge is really good. It's sweet. It's not as moist, but mm. it's not dry mm. or airy. It'd be really good. I do have high, high hopes for it. Cut, what cut would you rate that one? Maybe 8.5 out of 10. Really? Mm. I think I'd say 7. Mm. It was probably a little too sweet for me, I think. I don't think a lemon can needs to be really sweet. Alright, so this is the one we have high hopes for. And the bag is full of coconut crumbs. Oh. It's big. It's so big. <laughs> Look at that. This one's empty too. Wow, damn. Mm. Mm. They're all so different. Yeah, I, I'm really surprised by how different that one is. I think it might be the chocolate icing. This one kind of tastes cheaper. Mm -hmm. Like the chocolate tastes cheaper. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Sponge is good. More airy than I like. <laughs> to my house. It would definitely be like a six or seven out of 10. This one, yeah. yeah. Six out of 10. When we were in um, primary school, our school used to do fundraisers where you ordered lamingtons and you could get like a six or 12 pack. Mm. They were really good. Mm -hmm. They had cream inside. Oh, you could choose. And we always got the cream inside. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, not, not, not impressed by the last one. Mm. Which is surprising because they're always so good with all the other products. My favourite is the cheapest one, which is $2.50 from the first place we went to. I think my favourite is definitely from our local. They're very good. Mm. Thanks for coming with us on our little adventure today. And you get to experience life as a person of colour in a majority white city. <laughs>